Hey YouTube, Common Collector here, and today I have a very, very exciting video for you guys because we are going to be opening up another nine of the tins of the uh, 2022, the Tin of the Pharaoh Gods. So we are going to be getting on into these. A uh, little spoiler alert, uh, you guys can probably tell by the thumbnail of this video if I lean that way, but uh, these are potential error boxes because I already opened up the other three boxes that came in this case. I'm just going to be putting a few of these off to the side so you guys can sort of see uh, the uh, you know you know as I'm opening up these so you guys can see what's going on um, but yeah overall we were uh, I was opening up these tins for the patreon uh, because I had not done an opening for them yet and it turned out that uh, there was uh, one pack missing in the first tin that I opened so that only had two you're supposed to get three per tin so uh, then also what it says on the back side is that you're supposed to get uh, two ultra rares, uh, your one prismatic secret rare, two ultra rares, two supers, one rare, and then 12 commons. And I actually uh, ran into a handful of packs where I had three rares and no super rares. So we'll see if that trend follows. I'm assuming that it will, but I still ended up getting a few super rares. Um, hopefully we won't, we won't be missing any more packs. Uh, so, okay, so here we have our three packs, but yeah, that was a real bummer opening up uh, one of the tins that was missing a pack. Hopefully that will be like the only error like that that we have, but if we ran into some other stuff where maybe we have like multiple prismatics or something, I think that would be really cool. But let's get right on into this opening, but also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. If you guys haven't already, I would really appreciate that. And let's get straight on into this. So we have our commons here that we're just going to kind of breeze by. Uh, this is going to be a fairly long video, so I'm going to try to go as quickly as I can. We have ourselves here a laundry trap. And okay, so we do have a super rare starting off in this one. So we have a ZS Arm Sage, a Ghost Moaner, and Moonlit Chill. And then getting on into an Earth Chant for our first Ultra. And then a Nibiru. That is very, very nice. We definitely like seeing Mr. Nibiru right there. Oh! And then following up right there with the Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Oh, that looks pretty darn nice in the Prismatic Secret Rare foiling. It was originally an Ultra Rare when it came out, what was it, two years ago in 2020? Yeah, so um, yeah, so this card been around for a long time already, and uh, so we've had this card for two years, and now we are getting it in the Prismatic. We've already had it in Ultra and Starlight. So very, very exciting. That's the first of the Prismatic uh, Dragoon that I have pulled so far. So that's very, very nice, very exciting. So let's keep moving on here. Uh, other pulls that I've gotten, I've gotten, uh, I believe, two Dark Ruler No Mores and two Nibirus now uh, through my stuff, as well as like a Lightning Storm. Uh, and then also over on the Patreon, I pulled a Ghost uh, ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. So that was also very exciting to see that in the Prismatic. So we will hopefully be seeing, uh, hopefully an Ash Blossom, uh, maybe more Lightning Storms. That would be really, really cool. Let's keep moving here. So we have a Stardust Illumination into a Fluandries and Stry, a Live Twin Kisskill Frost. Hopefully you guys saw my new Live Twin Evil Twin uh, Sprite update uh, for the new ban list that just dropped yesterday. We have a Heritage of the Light, then getting on into an Abyss Keeper, and then an Ash Blossom and Joyous Spring. Holy cow, this is an insane tin. This is really, really nice. Oh my gosh. Finally, uh, I was not actually playing the game back when Ash Blossom was released in Maximum Crisis, so being able to see this in any kind of Secret Rare foiling is very, very nice. I really, really like that. Oh my gosh. And I should also probably just like start up a little row of Ultra Rares in case we get really nice Ultra Pulls. So we'll keep the Nibiru off to the side here. This is going to be uh, a pretty intense video, I'm assuming. So, wow, look at those pulls just starting off right there. Very, very nice. Uh, getting that Ash Blossom, getting that Dragoon, as well as the Nibiru feels pretty good. Let's see what other stuff we can pull. Uh, so far, I have not gotten a Pot of Prosperity yet, so we'll see if we can grab one of those. Ooh, and the quality control continues. Oh, man, so this is a... This looks like there's almost like tape that came across this. I'll try to get this. Yeah, I think you guys can see that on the camera pretty good. You can just see this line going right across this Gunkin Suship Uni. That's uh, that's pretty bad. Uh, quality control might need to get called up here. I, I, I'm just going to hold that off to the side just to, uh, to maybe check it out, uh, you know, or, or else if we get more that it look like that. Uh, so we have a Brandon in red into a Sunvine crossbreed. So at least we're still getting our rare pulls or our super rare pulls. We're not missing out and just getting uh, rares like I did in my previous tins. Maybe we'll still end up seeing some of those. That way, at least you guys believe me. Uh, then we have a Paleozoic Cambroster 
into a uh, DD, uh, sorry, trying to keep my piles going here. We have a DD Assault Carrier into a Dogmatica Genesis, and then a Dual Tower. Uh, gosh, I am just having the hardest time remembering where this, uh, or no, this must be a new card. This is a new card. Uh, this is not a reprint. Um, so, okay, very good. Um, so let's keep moving on here. I am still a little, little bit trying to uh, trying to get my head around what are the new cards in the set. I was able to get, uh, what's the new trap card? I have my whole, I got all my piles here for uh, what I have been pulling. I uh, got a couple copies so far of the new Slifer one, which is very exciting. The revived Sky God, very much looking exci uh, looking forward to putting together my Slifer deck once again and maybe profiling that for you guys once I get that done. Uh, really, really fun deck. I love Slifer. It's my favorite of all the gods. So let's get on here. I'm going to keep make sure that I keep this on the screen in case we are uh, missing a pack again also, just so you guys don't think that I'm like taking one off out to the side uh, off camera. So we're getting on into our second tin, two of nine. So uh, keep in mind, we're not opening up the full case here because I already opened up a couple for the patrons, but we are going to be opening up nine full boxes, five or nine full tins. Uh, so we have an Archfiend Staff of Despair into a Magical Cylinders, a Radiant Vorsense, a Earth Chant, and then another of the DDD or a DD Assault Carrier, and then a ZS Ascended Sage. This card looks also super duper nice in that prismatic foiling. I've never been a big Utopia guy, just because that was never really the time that I was like super hard playing Yu-Gi-Oh! Or I just never maybe thought it was that cool of a boss monster, but that card does look pretty darn nice. I do want to get more into Utopia, though. I definitely do. I want to, like, get more than uh, just playing, like, Utopia double in decks. Like, I want to try to to maybe spritz that around a little bit more. So then let's get on into a Magic Key Fiend Transferal Mine, a ZW Pegasus Twin Saber, a Slower Swallow, and then a Branded Bond. Very, very nice. Very good-looking Ultra Rare there. Uh, then we have a Zexal Construction, and what's it going to be? Okay, let's... Let's slow this down. Let's see what we are. Okay, so okay, so it is a monster. It's a monster. Is it going to be a hand trap? Let's see if it's a zero attack, eighteen hundred defense, uh, two thousand. Oh, it's Dark Magician Girl. Oh, that's very very nice. Oh man, this is also other stuff that we are hunting for. Is getting these new alternate arts for the um, blue eyes, red eyes, and Dark Magician Girl. And we've already wrapped up Dark Magician Girl and Ash Blossom. And Dark Dragoon, oh my gosh, that is just so, so good. These are very nice looking tins. Oh boy, this is nice. <clears throat> this is uh, this is really helping to uh, pay back for missing a pack in the uh, in the Patreon opening. So if you guys do want to help uh, support the channel, definitely go ahead and check out the Patreon. You guys can join for as little as uh, like $1 or $2 a month, I believe I have it set at. So if you guys are looking to even just check out like all of the extra videos that are over there, on the Patreon, you guys can like uh, just donate two dollars to the channel for the month, and then you guys can look at the entire backlog of all the videos, uh, and then just cancel at the end of the month if that's what you guys want to do, uh, and you guys can see some of those really cool videos. Uh, um, but anyways, let's keep moving on here. We have ourselves an Aman Okarokwaki. I'm not, uh, you know, it's, some of these cards are just so hard to say. One copy of Fluandries and Empin, very very nice to also be seeing this uh, getting reprinted just as a super rare. I feel like there's a lot of like people who are budget and rogue players who did want to see this card uh, come back, uh, get reprinted, and it is nice for them to get that budget option. I just, however, do not like this deck. It's it's just so scummy, so gross, and I just hate playing against it. Uh, we do have a High Ritual Art, also another nice reprint, and then a DD Assault Carrier once again, a Line of the Light Charmer, and then an Arm Dragon Thunder Level 7. I also, uh, I have not yet updated this deck, or did I? No, wait, no, I, I have not posted that uh, profile yet, but I will be uh, very, very shortly. I was working on that this week, and I was going to be updating that yesterday, and then the ban list dropped, so I did not get around to uh, making that uh, Arm Dragon Ojama deck profile update yet, but that will be coming in the near future. For those of you guys who did get your uh, reprints here in the Megatons, sorry, once again, I'll pull these uh, there's just so much limited space here, but, uh, there we go. So we have our three packs. Uh, you, you guys might get annoyed by me saying that, but I am just so nervous that I'm going to get finessed again. And then I'm going to miss out on, uh, getting all of my packs that I paid for. Uh, but, uh, you know, we, we're already down one pack. I hope that we won't lose any more. 
Uh, so let's keep moving on here. Uh, we'll breeze by the commons once again. And we have another, uh, <clears throat> uh, sorry, this is the first of the armed dragon level 10 wet. I just meant uh, getting to another of the armed dragons. Very, very nice. A trap tricks Calaria. A ghost, uh, ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. This is the first one of this that I've seen. Uh, then let's get on into a Dark Eye uh, Nightmare. A Tri Brigade Bear Brum, the Rampant Rampager. This is also just another, another nice little rarity upgrade for those Tri Brigade players out there. And then a Ruddy Rose Dragon also coming in at that uh, Prismatic Foiling. Very, very nice. Very sweet. Uh, if you're not getting your hands on like the Starlight version of this, it's like probably, it's, it's I guess the next best thing. And it still looks really, really nice. Let's keep going on here. So we are going by the commons, seeing a lot of familiar stuff here. Uh, then we're getting to a ZW Dragonic Halberd, a Sun Avalon Daphne, another Ghost uh, Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, a Branded Bond, a Baby Mud Dragon. I feel like this is going to be a good one. I'm uh, what's this going to? It's going to be Lightning Storm or Prosperity. Okay, let's let's do what we did before with the Dark Magician. Okay. Ooh, okay. It could be. It could be. I'm okay. So it's going to be Lightning Storm or Prosperity, possibly. It's a spell card. What's it going to be? I'm I'm going Prosperity. Oh, it's branded opening. Oh, okay. That's still pretty good, but you know, like like a little bit less exciting than uh what those other cards could have been. But okay, let's get to this last pack of the uh the third uh tin. So we are we are about a third of the way done here for this. Uh, opening. Thank you guys again so much for watching and obviously just like clicking on this video kind of uh, helping. Okay, and we do have another of those smears going on here. Um, yeah, right there. You can kind of see it again. So we're just going to pull that guy off to the side. Uh, we have a laundry trap. Maybe it's been like at, like uh, one common in like every pack and I just haven't noticed it. Uh, Virtual World Gate Zanwu, also another little uh, rarity bump there for that card. A uh, Otodashimashi, a Arm Dragon Thunder level 10, getting a rarity downgrade, but still Looks pretty nice getting that ultra rare foiling. And then another copy of Branded Opening uh, to finish off that tin right there. Okay, so not too bad. Let's get on into the next one. Now I'm pulling from ahead of me. Um, try to keep up with keeping these open. But, you know, I, I didn't want to, like, open all of these off screen and then, like, something whack happens. Uh, but now you guys probably just don't even believe me because uh, we've been pulling pretty good stuff. So, okay, we got our three packs here. And let's just keep moving on here. So, so far in the Ultra category, biggest thing we've gotten is obviously the Nibiru. But we'll see if we can get anything else super crazy here. Uh, we have, uh, oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Now, yeah, now you guys are gonna believe me because here we have the uh, the rare uh, mis uh, mispackaged pack. So we have a clav keys, the magic key sky blaster, and then we have another rare right behind it. We have a wind witch diamond bell, and then a magic key world. So we're missing out on the super rares. So. Uh, Konami quality control strikes again. So we have a magic key world and now we should be go jumping right into the ultra rares. Okay. Yep. So we have a Garamore, the dragon sun shell, sun shell, a reinforcement of the army's troops, and then another copy of red eyes, dark dragoon as you know, I'm, I'm okay with getting the extra rares. Uh, you know, I, as long as we're not missing out on those beautiful, uh, prismatics. Uh, so as long as we're getting those, I am happy as can be. So that's very, very nice. Getting another copy of Dragoon feels very, very good. All right, let's move on here. We've got ourselves two packs left in this box. Uh, looking really, really nice though so far. So I'm just going to scooch Mr. Dragoon. I guess I'll just put him over here by his brother there. And uh, we are going to keep moving along here as fast as we can. We have a Lava Vol X Lord, and again, getting on into a regular rare, we have a Monster Assortment, and then a Virtual World Otoheim Tutu, and getting on straight into the Ultra Rares, we have a Stardust Trial, a Dark Infant Adagnister, and then another copy of Ash Blossom, oh my gosh, the back-to-back -back Red Eyes Dragoons and Ash Blossoms, it is so real and it feels so good, oh my gosh, I am, I am totally getting a playset. Finishing off a playset after this of Ash Blossoms. If I don't finish off a playset in this video, I am just going to make sure that I go ahead and I pick up that last one that I need. That is just so awesome. Okay. Uh, let's keep moving on here. Getting a little crazy. Okay, yes. Okay, so we are more of the uh, more of the rares. We have a Stained Glass and the Light and Dark. A Vapartu, a Halibird once again. And then a Dimension Shifter for our Ultra Rare. Looks very, very nice. Very, very good reprint as well. For the people who want to play it, 
Uh, you know, those full wonderies people, again, they need this. Uh, I think people are playing it. Uh, de people are definitely playing it uh, around in this format. So that's very, very good for those people. We have a branded bond and then another copy of Dual Tower. Okay, not too bad. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to organize my piles here quick and we'll get right back into it. All right, we are back into it. So I just uh, sort of wanted to organize this a little bit more, uh, hopefully just highlighting the really, really nice prismatics that we've gotten so far. Uh, as well, you know, you just got to keep the Nibiru out there. You got to keep the cool pulls whenever you get them. So let's get on into this one. It looks like we have three packs. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm happy when I get my three packs. Okay, so let's keep moving on. We are getting into pack number one for this tin. What can we what can we possibly get out of here though? You know, we still gotta get a prosperity. We still have not seen a lightning storm either. So let's see what we can wrap up this uh with. So we have a Flawanderies and Snowl. Uh we have a Goki finishing move into a Machina Ruin Force. So we are getting back to the uh the super rares at least. Uh then a Sprite's Blessing, a Danger Disturbance Disorder, and then a Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit. Keeping true with uh, pulling all of those hand traps. Very, very nice. We like seeing that. Uh, so I believe uh, that's uh, two Ghost Ogres for me and two Ash Blossoms. <clears throat> so overall, I'm really, really happy with how the pulls have been going there. Would have been really crazy if Konami would have also like introduced like a brand new hand trap in this set. Like kind of how they did with Dimension Shifter and Nibiru back when they got printed back in, uh, what was it, uh, 2020. But anyways, let's keep moving here. We have an Arm Dragon, or 2019 it's been uh, since we got those. So we have an Arm Dragon level 10 white a uh, live twin Leela Treat, and then a Don Mari adding Mister, and then the revived Sky God keeping it going with that uh, Slifer support. So very, very nice getting that as well. I, I really, really want to get this deck going. I just know how hard it is for me to get rogue deck uh, rogue decks out sometimes uh, when I don't have them like fully set up. Um, uh, then we have a Fluanderies and Tukin, and then a Lord of the Heavenly Prison. I believe I've gotten one of these so far back on the Patreon video, but still very, very nice to see him. Uh, he was originally a secret rare back in Burst of Destiny, but looking very nice with that rarity bump for the uh, Prismatic. All right, let's keep moving here. We are on the last pack, and then we still have four tins left. So this is just tin number five. We are getting on into a Glacier, the Aqua Madure. A uh, White Knight of Dogmatica, and then a Book of Lunar Eclipse. A very, very nice reprint here as well for this card. Uh, you know, this was a secret rare, uh, you know, and people definitely wanted to play around with it, but it's still just kind of nice to uh, get this in as a super rare for people who want to mess around with it. Then we have a Dark Honest, another card that was uh, back in Lightning Overdrive that had secret rare. And we have Synchro Overtake from Dawn of Majesty, also coming in here in the ultra rare slot. And then getting a Rainbow Bridge of Salvation, the new Crystal Beast structure deck, I believe, dropped just today. So that's uh, really, really cool. Also, <clears throat> uh, being able to see that come on in the new support for the Crystal Beast. Kind of weird them, uh, you know, uh, scurrying around wherever they want. But that's Konami. That's how they do things. They like, uh, you know, sort of spreading around uh, their products so that you got to just buy from all over the place. So. We are going to get on in here into our next of the tins. Uh, I think I'm just going to sort of scooch a couple of these uh, random cards back over to the side. I, I, I organized my pile and then I uh, immediately disorganized it. So let's keep moving on here. Four tins left. Very exciting. And we're doing all right on time, but I probably should speed this up a little bit. We have a Proof of Pruffle. Oh, okay, okay. So we're getting into more of the rares. So, so we have a Flanderies and Robina and then an Archfiend Staff of Despair. Then getting on into a Pharaonic Guardian Sphinx, and then a Machina uh, Unclass Bear, and then a Diviner of the Herald, another very, very nice reprint coming in here. Oh boy, and this is some serious shift. Holy cow, look at that compared to, I mean, compared to some other cards, like uh, there is a lot sitting there on the top of this, and then not so much sitting there at the bottom. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, you can definitely see that uh, coming there right at the top. There's so much on the top. And just a little bit there at the bottom. That's uh, that's a bit of a miscut, but uh, nonetheless, very very nice reprint as well. Oh boy, yeah. What? Oh boy, how do you even how do you even like get rid of that card? I mean, I guess you could uh, sell it at a bit of a discount. But uh, then we're gonna keep moving on here. We have a Vapartu, and then into a slower swallow, a Trap Tricks Calera, 
and then a branded bond for our ultra, and then also a baby mud dragon, and then the red eyes black dragon right behind him. Very, very nice. So now all we need is the blue eyes, uh, blue eyes, and then like that last ash blossom. I think that that would make me very, very happy. So let's see. Uh, well, you know, we still have quite a bit of tins to open up here, and so far I've just been very, very happy with how this has been going. Um, okay, so for our rares, we are going on into a Thrawn, the Discipled Angel, a Magical Cylinders, and a Machina Ruin Force, and then another copy of the Thunder Level 10, and a Mimicking Maneater Bug. Oh my god, I forgot that this was in here as an Ultra Rare. Why is this an Ultra Rare? That is just ridiculous. And then a Small World to wrap up that uh, that tin right there. Overall, pretty darn good as well. Uh, pretty happy. No complaints on that one there. All right. Let's get on into this guy. Three tins left. Very, very exciting. What? Ah, gosh. Okay, so we got we got Small World. We got the uh, Heavenly Dragon. Okay, and we also have not seen a Crossout Designator yet. So that could be on the corner as well. Sorry if you're hearing all the, the tins clank and they are just all over the place. Uh, so, okay, we are getting on here uh, into the first pack of the, uh, what would this be? This would be 710. Okay, got to be a little more careful with these. There we go. All right, then we're, uh, also while we're just on the topic, uh, it's been a while since I've opened up some Pokemon packs, but I just did like a few days ago. And I mean, how hard is it to open up Pokemon packs sometimes? Like people who open up uh, packs for a living on YouTube, like... They are crazy because they are so hard to open sometimes. Uh, then we have a ultimate flagship Ursartron into an Arm Dragon Flash, uh, keeping the uh, the rares going here. So we got three rares in a row. Then we have the line of the Light Charmer Lustrious, a Zexel Construction, and then an Alibur, the Justice of or Jester of Despia. So overall, pretty nice reprint there as well. I believe he was shorted in this set, but um, you know I'm not sure why. Konami uh, obviously reprinted him back in. Goes from the past, uh, but whatever they, uh, yeah, I think they, sh I believe they shorted him at least, uh, if I'm remembering right on what I had heard from this set. So then we're getting on into a stained glass of light and dark, a pyramidal fulls fusion. Gosh, why does that keep happening? And then a garden rose flora getting uh, our three rares in a row, and then an earth chant, and then another copy of Nibiru. Very, very happy about that. We'll slide. Mr. Nibiru right there, and then we have a uh, ZS Ascended Sage once again getting another copy of him. So we're seeing a little bit of repeat, repeats, but that's okay. Like, I, I, I'm kind of happy with, like, having uh, good play sets of, like, higher uh, higher rarities. Uh, getting, getting a full play set is definitely nice. Uh, then we're going to go on into a Heavy Metal Fools Amalgam, a uh, Pendulum Treasure, three rares once again, and then a Mahavilo, the Light of the Heavens. A Heritage of the Light and a Abyss Keeper, and those were all really crappy cards. So this better be a really good one back here. I'm I'm going Prosperity. Oh, okay, and we get an Underworld Goddess. That's not too bad either. I definitely definitely like seeing Underworld Goddess as well. She is she is such a good card. So good, so versatile. I love that card actually. Okay, let's get on in that. I feel like that Tim went very very quickly. I'm liking the speed. We'll try to keep it up. All right, we have uh, got our next three packs going on here. Three, love to see it. Very good. Okay. <clears throat> okay, what do we got? All right. Six packs left to go for the entire opening. We are going to get on into a Lava Vol X Lord, a Bahula, or I'm not even going to, the Grand Radiance. We have an Arm Dragon Thunder Level 10, a DD Assault Carrier, a Dogmatica Genesis, and then a Pot of Prosperity. Oh, yeah, very much like to see that that is very very nice that looks pretty darn good as well definitely love to see that kind of has a little bit of the miscut just like how the diviner of the herald did but i'm not gonna lose too much sleep over that because we still got a prosperity very very nice okay we're still looking for that third ash blossom and for that blue eyes we we got to be getting that blue eyes alternate art get all three of them in on this opening uh so we have here a judge of the ice barrier a Floandries and Snowl and a Chronomaly Vimana going for those uh, three super or for the three uh, rares in a row. We have here a DDD Super Sight, a Dragonlark Perrin, and then a Drytron Mu Beta Fafnir, another very good reprint for those Drytron players. And obviously, Konami is going to hook up the Drytron players. They gave uh, gave uh, Cyber Angel Benton back to us at three. I don't know about you guys, but I was pretty excited when I saw that on the list yesterday. 
Okay, let's get on in here. We have a Arm Dragon Thunder level 5 and skip past the rest of the commons. Uh, getting to the rares, we have a Pendulum Treasure, a Birth of Prominence Flame, a Arm Dragon Thunder Flash, and then a copy of Stardust uh, Trail, a Synchro Overtake, and then a Despia Quaritis. So that looks also pretty darn nice in that uh, prismatic foiling as well. A uh, very, very good reprint as well for the people who are looking to play Despia. And there were a lot of really good Despia reprints coming out uh, in this set as well. Like Dramaturge also getting uh, a much, much earned, uh, sorry, oh, sorry about that. Uh, a much earned rarity bump in my opinion. I think that that card is so, so good. Even just as a one of in the deck, it puts in so much work. So we're getting on into our final three packs here. Let's see what we can do to wrap up this video. What else can we get that would make this even better? We got to get the blue eyes yet. Could we get that third Ash Blossom? That would be so, so cool. Uh, so let's see what we can do to wrap this one up and make it super legendary. So we have a Monster Assortment, a Beast King Unleashed. So, okay, at least we're getting back to the super rares. We have a Beast King Unleashed, a Paleozoic Cambroster, a dragon like dragon lark perrin a heritage of the light and then a dramaturge of despia speak of the devil we ended up pulling it anyways so okay so we got a dramaturge of the despia to wrap up that pack two to go i feel like all of a sudden the tail end of this video went super duper fast but that is okay all right we are gonna uh, sorry sorry about that sue ship uh we're gonna put you off to the side and get to the to get to the good stuff we have a Dragon, oh sorry, a Dragonic Halibird. Oh my gosh, I just forgot how to read there. We have a Trap Trick Calaria, a Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries. I believe we've seen this uh, in this video. And then we have a uh, Glamour, the Dragon Shell, a Thresh, Threshold Borg, and then another copy of Queratus. Okay, sort of slowing down on the heat here. Okay, we got, a, we got one more Prismatic to pull. Can we get that Blue Eyes? to finish off this video. Otherwise, I think that this has still been a really solid opening. So let's see what we can do here, guys. We have a flying red carp, a ultimate dragonic utopia ray. Have not seen this one yet, so that's still pretty good. And then a radiant volorescence, a live twin kiss kill frost, a uh, Oto Shimadari or something, a Scrap Raptor, overall pretty cool reprint to see as well, getting him a very solid rarity bump. And what is it going to be for our final? What can we see here for our final? Okay, so we do have a monster. Oh my gosh, can we finish off with the Ash Blossom or maybe even another Dark Magician? Okay, what do we have? 28? What? Oh no! We oh, So we end on a Arm Dragon Thunder level 7. Okay, still pretty darn cool. Very, very good. So those last tins maybe weren't too hot. We started off very, very solid though. I feel like we got the Ghost Ogre, Dark Magician, we uh, Dark Magician Girl, we got the Ash Blossom, two, red, uh, two Ash Blossoms, two Red Eyes Dark Dragoons. Very, very cool. There was a little bit of quality control issues going on there with some of the cards kind of miscut with a couple of them having a few scrapes on them, like they almost had a little bit of adhesive on them, but still being able to get our hands on some very, very nice reprints overall. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought about this uh, down in the comment section below. Let me know how your guys' polls have been and what you guys just thought of uh, where the where the uh, TCG is going to be going with the new ban list that came out yesterday. So a lot of very exciting things. Thank you guys for helping me with this case opening, uh, at least being a partial case opening. Really appreciate it. And thank you guys again so much for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.